Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. O my soul, praise him, for he is thy health and salvation. All ye who hear, now to his temple draw near. Join me in glad adoration. Praise to the Lord, O let all that is in me adore him. All that hath life and breath, come now with praises before him. Let the Amen sound from his people again. Gladly, forever adore him. Remember the words to this great hymn. We will come back to them in a few minutes. We are adding a new element to the Neely's Creek online home resources this week. It will be staff devotions. This came about from our fall staff retreat. At that time, Matt asked us to devote some time each week to our creative side. We didn't know what that would look like or how or when it could all be put together. Matt has been holding us accountable each week. But now, enter COVID-19 and having to be more creative in order to worship together. For the next five weeks, each staff person will take a turn giving a devotional using their unique creative side. The aspect of creativity I would like to use this week is to explore music. At some point, it may manifest itself in writing new music, but for today, it will be expressing the art form of music with the organ. Great art draws you in. I would like to draw you in to the organ itself, to the artistry of music, and ultimately to God. This musical instrument, the organ, is made out of wood, out of metal, and has some electronic components. If we take a closer look, we have pipes that are of differing sizes and shapes and lengths. Pipes are grouped into different family sounds. There are divisions of the organ using the th three keyboards and the pedal board. There are stops, as you see. Each one is labeled. Each one is used. Each one has a different sound. Let's look closer. These pipes, these divisions, these stops can be combined to create almost unlimited sounds. Then, the last thing it needs is air, breath, to produce the music. Second, there's musical artistry, the learning and developing of an art form. In this place, music. Learning to read music, learning to get the music from the page into your brain, out through your fingers, and into your ears, finally. It's a process. It takes lots of practice and patience. Let's take a closer look. This skill is developed with lots of hours of practice, but then passion and feeling are added. Now, this organ is a musical instrument and it is placed here in the middle of this sanctuary. It's not an end to itself. Let's look closer. We use this instrument to bring glory to God, not to worship the created, but the creator. Think back now to the words of the hymn, Praise to the Lord the Almighty. Praise to the Lord the Almighty, the King of creation, O oh, my soul, praise him, for he is thy health and salvation. All ye who hear, now to his temple draw near. Join me in glad adoration. Praise to the Lord, O oh, let all that is in me adore him. All that hath life and breath, come now with praises before him. 
Let the Amen sound from his people again. Gladly forever adore him. Let's use one more hymn as an example. How Great Thou Art. We just sang it last Sunday. Reflect on these words. I am in awe and wonder when I consider all the worlds God's hands have made, the stars, the rolling thunder, God's power displayed in the universe, the woods, the forest glades, the lofty mountains, and the small brooks. Let's look closer. Again, we are to worship the Creator, not the creation. God's creation is made for us to enjoy, but points us to something else or someone else. Looking more closely, it points us to Christ. Verse 3 of this hymn says, And when I think that God, his Son not sparing, sent him to die, I scarce can take it in, that on the cross my burden gladly bearing, he bled and died to take away my sin. We are to worship God. He who loved the world, he created so much that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And then this <clears throat> is how the hymn ends, with Christ coming with a shout to take us home where we will bow in humble adoration and proclaim for all eternity, my God, how great thou art. Let's put all this together now. This musical instrument, the musical artistry, all given by God and used for the glory of God to worship him.